<laughs> Maybe to Miss Pemberton. She's the one responsible for BG being here, you guys. Very awesome. <laughs> she came and met. Where are you going? And she said, she said, real estate. And we, I, I said, well, you know, I don't know. We're going to get him to do it. She said, we're going to get him here. So, you know, he was on 609. She's the reason why he's here. Let's put our hands together for yes. this young lady. Right here. Some of my people. Wait. And Bahama Beach is, what are y'all doing on the 17th? What are y'all doing Sunday? What are y'all doing Sunday? Oh, uh, yes. This Sunday we're having the Pockles uh, preseason kickoff here at the mall, right on that stage. And it'll be from 12 to 3. So get excited. All right. And I wish y'all partnering with, are they partnering with some? Are they working with you? What, tell them who you're working with. They're working with the bounce lady over here. So. We, they're going to have some fun, so bring your kids and, oh, am I right? Yes. Are we going to have fun? We're going to have a dance party. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Talk We're about fun. it. So, <laughs> opening, week, opening day is uh, May 25th, so come on and see us. All right. All right. All right. Yeah. Eli, Eli News? That's Ken. Ken Armstead. <laughs> go, Ken. <laughs> Can I say a couple of things in the film town? As long as it's not advertised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you all so much. Uh, I'm sure everybody's familiar with the elite newspaper. We've been around for 53 years. Uh, I'm a representative of public relations for the elite news. For those of you all that are not advertising, feel free to talk to me after. Thank you very much. I'm with the service. <laughs> Free vacuum check. <laughs> Safe hands. One of our new partners, nonprofit, yes. and I want you here to Jeanette. Y'all need to meet because they're doing a lot of great things out in the Southwest area. So what are they doing? There you go. What are, are y'all doing? Yeah. <laughs> we um, actually do quite a few things. We, we're well known for our summer programs. We do the summer feeding programs and our after school programs into the apartment complexes. So if you have an apartment complex, you need a summer program, you need an after school program, call us. Um, I am the program director and my job is responsible. I am responsible for bringing in new programs. We're looking for new ideas. Our newest program we're working on is Helping the Homeless, and we have a job fair coming up next Friday here at the mall. We're looking for vendors, and we want to get the word out. Uh, we're catering to veterans. Okay. All right. And also, also, hold on. Pat, you know her. She's a grant writer. Where are you, Pat? That's the grant writer right there. She writes grants. All right. Uh, Teal's Catering, and we just want to thank Mr. Teal for uh, for <coughs> cooking our breakfast today. Give him a big hand. We know he gonna say something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna say something. Good evening, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good, good morning. <laughs> good morning, Phil. This is my homeboy out of Memphis, Tennessee. The boy is bad. I got to give it to him. But after this, there's no other. <laughs> I ain't claiming to be the rest, but I am so much better than the rest. And CW, congratulations to you and also you, Miss Pemberton, and the rest of you guys for showing up. I hope you enjoyed the breakfast. And I have the number one TV show. Uh, Fox 4 is picking it up. I have the number one internet TV show. I know CW worked hard, but Till's show got him over. See the Hill, I'm worldwide. I'm all over the world. So. You guys can look me up. I'm doing it big. <laughs> Thank you. I know you had something to say. Mr. Ben Brown. And Ben is one of our partners. He does real estate. And we just really appreciate him partnering with us. And he works in the Oakland community. Thank you. Mr. Ira Thomas with 
five star realtors. Thank you. And this is just to show our appreciation to Mr. Zarin Gracie. Zarin has really been working with us for so long, and he has really bridged the gap with working with the city and working with the community. We really appreciate everything that you do. Thank you. And one of the things is, y'all know about the uh, payday lending, and Dan and I, a couple of other folks with uh, Whataburger, we're putting together a banking system that we're hoping to be out here. Yes. And yes. so, uh, so we can, let me tell you, a little thing happened. A 64-year-old lady came yes. in to the mall right here, yes. fell out, cried, and used a whole box of Kleenex and uh, found out that here's what she's done. Uh, she, she has 12 payday lending, mm. and then she went from payday loans to uh, car, car time. Time. No, no, not the car. She went to uh, pawn. She went to the pawn shop. Mm -hmm. And then to pay the pawn and all that, she put her car on tight on a, on a, a, a car on tight. So she came here one day, and when she fell, I didn't know what was happening. I thought somebody died. She said, here's what she said. I was going to either commit suicide or I was going to find you. She found my daughter. My daughter said, my mama's over here. So we did. We got Sir <coughs> West. We got Congressman Johnson. We got Concord. What we did, we paid her rent, first and second, third month rent. We got her off of that. So she's in a program. I want to thank Zarin and Concord yes. Church yes. for stepping up to the plate. That's what we do here at Southwest the Mall. I see our angel is back there in the back. So I'm going to induce her in just a minute, Miss Lisa. So just hold on. Lisa, don't go nowhere. Just hold on. Okay. <laughs> we have some more presentations right here. Uh, Jeanette Berry. And Jeanette came to me from the state representative's office. She was looking for a place to go, and they sent her over here, so she came to Southwest to the mall. So this is what we do well. We do the hookup, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and she has a nonprofit also. Mr. Jay Hardwick. And Jay Hardwick is one of our partners. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Um, work for Workforce Solutions, Greater Dallas. We have uh, nine offices throughout the Metroplex. Uh, we have dollars for employers. So if you are a small business owner and you are paying into unemployment insurance, or if you're brand new, maybe you haven't started yet, um, we have dollars for employers. And what that basically means is we can supply someone to work for you for up to eight weeks at no cost to you, we pay, we pay the salaries. Also, uh, during the summer months, um, which we're in now, um, if you have any juniors or seniors that's looking for work, have them come over to the center um, Saturday, June 8th, about 8.45, and we can also put those young people to work. Now, what do you say, y'all? Put them to work, June yeah, 8th. Yeah, yeah. J-O-B. Right. Two things people need. They need God and a job. That's what they need. <laughs> and one other thing we have, uh, we have a, a subsidized program that goes throughout the year. And basically it's uh, t a t uh, eight week program and uh, it gives you an opportunity to train someone for eight weeks and we pay their bill. We, we pay. So it's more or less a try before you buy, if you will. Um, so if you're a small business, um, we understand that sometimes it's and you can't really afford to pay and you know and stay ahead so we we have a program where we'll pay an individual for up to eight weeks and then after the eight weeks hopefully we trust that it will be a good fit and um, you know you can hire them on uh, other than that uh, we are an extension of your human resources department if you have staffing needs if you you know you you can't find that person that you're looking for we have a database of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of individuals and I can filter out uh, just to meet your need, okay? So um, if you, in, you're interested, um, just come by and get a car. And yeah. also I want to thank Ms. Pemberton. Um, she's absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. She's awesome. <laughs> and, um, if, you know, if it wasn't for agitators, <laughs> we'd be in trouble. Thank you very much. Center. Pat is one 
of our new uh, cabinet, no, we're trying, we're not we're trying, we're, we're seeding Camp Wisdom Corridor, and Pat is one of our new stars over there to make sure we're doing the right thing. Pat, thank you. <laughs> you want to say anything about the age of your kids and stuff? Yes, I do. I want to say thank you to all of you. Um, a lot of you guys have been dropping in to see me. That makes me feel so good to see the community coming out and support you. Some of you are taking tours from your children. We are growing daily, so the word is spreading. People are like coming through the door saying, hey, this guy was talking about your school at, at my job, and you know, we just come here, so we want to see for ourselves, and they're running back and they're rolling. We enrolled a total of like 15 kids last week. All right. All right. Thank you to everyone. Thank you, Mr. Jefferson. Uh, Mr. Cedar Whitaker, stop by to see my school, make me feel proud. So thank you guys so much for supporting Patch. And she sings and she does character too. She's uh, got those, what other yeah. I, I used to own another business called um, Patch Mobile Melodies where I went into other childcare facilities and I did music and transition for um, the kids in the classroom and stuff like that. So I actually do that at my school. My kids give me every first Friday and they have a wonderful time with me because they never know who I'm gonna be. Billy Scott. Billy uh, couldn't make it I, I told I'm gonna present yeah. their awards tomorrow. Okay. Uh, urban health system. And Mr. Till will accept that. And then the last one is Waterbury. <laughs> Waterbury is one of our great partners. And when I met them, they were they were looking at almost on the lead. And we went over there and negotiated, and they're here, signed the contract and everything. So we're really excited. The city has to go, because I'm going to be joining them in the meeting later on. I got you. you know, thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I just, I, you know, just as, as an example, a um, couple of things. Uh, met Tony. Tony was kind of, I guess, the district, I forget how to, area manager, area manager over several of them. And, uh, so my other job, I, the, you know, she mentioned it a little bit. I serve, I lead the my local mission, city missions at Concord Church as my ministry. And I, two things. One thing I want you to do, see what Ms. Pemberton is doing, is your small business as well as these nonprofit organizations and how they're working together to build a community. Don't miss that. I mean, don't miss that. Like, even in my own job, you know, you, you – I talk to people and we want to struggle, try to get up to the top and we're complaining and we get so focused on our career and trying to climb to the top that we lose focus on the needs of the community. We get consumed, self-absorbed. Same thing, you know, sometimes we can focus so much on trying to grow our business and those kind of things that we forget to give back to the community and forget why we're here and where we are and what the community needs are. Um, so I kind of do both, serve both hats and I do it proudly. But with... Um, what a burger! We did kind of a um, uh, passed out Thanksgiving uh, boxes to the community. Uh, two year, one year we did a 1,500. Next year we did 2,000. Wow. What a burger was by our side both years. And when I say by our side, it was uh, you know I met Tony Cheney and I was kind of like, well, you know, you want to wear it, put a sign up, we can do whatever it is. And he, no, all I want to do is serve alongside of y'all. And sure enough. We was out there lifting boxes, loading trucks. They were right there too, in the in the assembly line, putting the boxes together and loading them. More than probably four or five days, I think. First year, it was just kind of people from the Whataburger right here. The next year, it was what, about four different uh, Whataburgers represented. The managers, she was out there, all of them in the line doing that. And that's what it's about because it's not just about your business, it's about the people that you serve in that community. So I especially want to say thank you to Whataburger for All right. And Tony called, he wasn't able to be here, but we have an angel here, and she, she thought she'd been back, no, 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 no. But it's, um, and her name is on the program, it'd only be fitting, y'all see me. You know, it's like the verb, y'all see the, you know, the action, but behind this action, there's a head. And, and the head really governs what the body part does. And I'd like to bring you the head of uh, Southwestern Mall, 
Miss Lisa Long. She's back. There. I want to get up. You don't have a <laughs> Greetings and Joan passed out some. We still have some more. She was out there working and all that kind of stuff. Y'all know the light didn't happen. Y'all say the lights went off here. All yes. kind of stuff happened. I was a continuation. But it's Ms. continued. Yeah, Miss Lisa. And I probably don't need this because I'm so loud. I don't know. Can y'all hear me okay? Yeah. yeah. There's never been a problem usually with that um, <laughs> since grade school. Um, well, I want to welcome each of you and I really truly thank you for taking time to come this morning. I know the weather's been bad. We've had a lot of stuff going on, you know, throughout South and, and in the Metroplex. And, and I know it's hard in the morning before your day gets going well, but I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, making the time is something that we've tried to do since arriving at Southwest Center. Uh, when we came to the property, as many of you know, it was distressed in every facet, from compliancy to occupancy, just the area in general. This whole mall had really been neglected. And at that point, we came in, the team that we've developed today is still the beginning team, and each of us wear many hats. And um, I just want to say that the team that I have, I'm very grateful for. I'm very thankful and blessed to have them. Uh, we have, like I said, you know, we don't have the big crews that most malls have. We have a skeleton crew, and each of us wear many, many hats. Um, you know, I'm head of operations, head of mechanics, head of security, head of, I mean, all of it. And then within those entities, I have, you know, people that work for me under those entities. Uh, one of the visions when we got here, well, let me back up. One of the biggest obstacles we had when we got here was that the mall was unsafe and it was closing. That was our biggest obstacles. So we had to rectify both of those problems to even start proceeding forward. So what we did is we brought in 24-7 security, 365 days, both private security and DPD, off-duty officers, if this is their beat, um, that were familiar with the area, familiar with the people, and familiar with this property. Um, then having said that, we took it from there and started going into the community, speaking at realtor meetings, speaking at churches, uh, discussing with different groups, uh, because the more groups that we could reach and talk to and say, look, don't take your money to Mesquite. Don't take it to Arlington. If you're going to make a purchase, support your community. Because this community needs this. And get, help us help you support the property. And we would hear feedback like, well, there's nothing there. Oh, I don't like going there. It's dead. Well, it almost did die. But it's not dead. And thank goodness that we didn't buy into what the naysayers said. We have had our own vision, and we believed that it was going to succeed, even when people were saying it isn't going to happen. Well, it has happened, and I'm very thankful to say that, you know, we have brought it back. The group of people that work at this property have brought it back. And what that means is now our occupancy is 83%. All right, come on, y'all. We are 100% compliant. And we are looking to do a redevelopment aesthetically in the fall, early fall. And what that would mean is three to six million dollars spending getting monument signs, pylon signs, you know, flagpoles, the pretty fun stuff. Updating new entrances, updating the food court, resurfacing the parking lot, putting in a lighting retrofit, all of these type things. And many people when they come to the property, they don't realize just to get it you know, all three chillers and, and the cooling tower functioning and all six sets of the escalators and all five elevators and all this is hundreds of thousands of dollars. It's behind the scenes, but you have to have it right. just to function. Then having said that, once you get all the stuff mechanically and operationally and safety, you know, covered, um, then you have to retain the existing tenants and the people that have really been here for the long haul which is we have old tenants and we have new tenants. And um, Cleo's one of my older. He's been here. He's got um, the embroidery shop upstairs in zone. And then this is a table of pretty much my new people. These hay rather bounce and the candle uh, expressions and, you know, of course, the religious card. She's got the memorabilia. It's all wonderful. Um, but we have a, a, a really unique property in that we've had mall walkers here for 30 years that have embraced this property. 
and they truly come, they care. They should do a story on that in the news, just in and of itself. They like have a list of each other's names, numbers, it's all ethnicities, it's all ages, and if one of them's sick, they all bring food, they go to the funerals. I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's really a feel-good reality here. Uh, second fold, the older tenants that have been here longer um, have embraced the newer tenants and are encouraging them because there's always in retail up and down, up and down. There's good seasons and dry seasons. And the thing that we've done here that's unique is giving entrepreneurs a chance to own their own business. And I want to speak to that just for two seconds because I know I don't want to get too long-winded like in church. I'll be going over and I'll be good like this. But um, I'm very passionate about this project. I've been in commercial real estate for 30 years. And this is probably one of the most challenging yet most fulfilling properties that I've ever undertook. Um, having said that, you know, the entrepreneur vision that we, we came up with that no other property that I know of or company in commercial estate is doing is we have given people the opportunity to bring a security deposit, no credit check, no business plan, no performance, no references, and do a lease and own their own business for as little as $6,000 for a year. You can go and own a cart in this mall that's $500 a month, because they're typically $750, but we're running a special for $500 and half for almost a year now. Um, but it is $500 a month. You put out a $500 security deposit, $500 a month, and you own a business. I don't know of any other place in the Metroplex that you can do that. And I've seen so many people do this. They've come in, they put down their five hundred dollars, they succeed, and then they've opened multiple businesses, and now they're at other places as well. They've expanded past this property. They've stayed here, but yet continue to grow to Camp Wisdom Corridor and open on along the road. Or they've even gone to Town East or the parks and opened up additional businesses. So it's succeeding and it's working. Uh, you know, it's very difficult to have somebody give you that start. So having said that, we've given a lot of people the opportunity to start and own their own business. With that being said, we are 2012 Oak Cliff Business of the Year. That's huge. Mm -hmm. yeah. A lot of people don't realize Oak Cliff's bigger than Dallas. Um, that we were in amazing company, just humbled to have received it. I mean, we were up against Bishop's Art, the theater. We were up against architecture firms that have recreated the bridge and some stuff in bishops. I mean, it's just, it was so amazing that we were recognized for all of the hard work because it has been hard work. It's been fulfilling, but it's been, it's been a journey. And the journey's not over. So what we need from you guys is a continued support of, like, the workforce. The workforce, that's an opportunity for you business owners that haven't been here and you that have been here that know. Um... You need to capitalize on that. They're offering you free labor for free. I mean, they will pay your people, someone to come work for you. I mean, y'all, there are teenagers, when she said junior and seniors, y'all all need to be writing that day down because there's juniors and seniors graduating high school that are so up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all the latest social media outlets, which is the wave of the future. They could come in even if you don't want them selling your product or touching your stuff because some of our people are set in their ways <laughs> and they're funny like that. But if you want someone to come in and just sit at the computer and work for you eight hours a day, you don't even know the amount of people you can reach. Mm -hmm. And they know how to do it better than you can pay somebody $20,000 to figure out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is crazy. So I really encourage each of you to take advantage of that because marketing, 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 I know a lot of times people say it's a startup, we can't afford it. You can't afford to not advertise here. People say, well, the mall traffic's slow. It's getting slow. It is slow. All of the malls are slow Monday through Wednesday in the Metroplex. All of them, probably nationwide. Thursday through Sunday are the busiest days at the mall. And the good thing is we're an enclosed mall. We're not the open air concept that a lot of people use now because if it's raining, if it's 120, you know, we're not California. We don't have perfect weather year round here. It's usually hot, it's raining, it's humid, it's something. And you don't want to have to get out and walk around in that. So people go to those centers and go to one store or two and then leave. 
we you can come in here the air's on the heat's on it's it's a safe facility heck when there was tornadoes flying around and diesels in the air they were routing people off to here because it's such a safe facility i mean you can be here you know basically all but two days out of the year easter and christmas were closed uh, but i just want people to know that we are advertising them all we have a web page we are advertising we're doing commercials even on telemundo we've been on every radio station you can think of and you know that's probably part of her wheelhouse as well getting the media and stuff like that because she's the event coordinator and miss pemberton is who i'm talking about and so she goes out into the community she does things in the community that are bigger than Southwest Center. But of course, we are using this as the nucleus to expand the whole 2015 Grow South Camp Wisdom Corridor project. So it's all important. Target, Macy's, all these people, they spend hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars every year advertising, and we all know what they carry. If they have to do it, we certainly need to be doing it. So I just encourage each of you to continue doing what you're doing. We're thankful you're here. Tell all your friends come buy something and come shop and support us. And if you want to open a business, come back and see us. And again, thank you for being here.